Good morning, guys. Hello. I am kind of like getting ready to go vote because that's something that I have to do for my country as a proud citizen of Portugal. <laughs> I know this is really bad. I did my research, but I just I don't understand anything like political. I really tried, and I kind of like I get the gist of it, but. I think I'm just going more on vibes, honestly. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to get this over with in the morning so that I can properly study in the afternoon. Also, my skin is looking a bit better, which I'm really happy about because I did went to a dermatologist and I paid like 80 euros. If it wasn't getting better, it would be a problem. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly put something on. I'm really nervous because I only voted once was two years ago and i was like fresh 18 like i did not know what's happening and i completely forgot everything so i don't even know where i'm supposed to go i'm just i'm, I'm just going to see where everyone's going and follow them honestly <laughs> It's currently 5 p.m. and it's still very light out, which is amazing. This just means that summer is coming and I could not be more excited, honestly. First we have spring, but I never was a very huge fan of spring, honestly. Mostly because the bugs, the mosquitoes, there's always so many bugs. I used to really hate bugs. I used to be so disgusted by them, but now I think I'm okay. I'm okay with them, like, they won't hurt me, I'm not gonna hurt them back. Basically, ever since I read that poem about a tiny spider that was in the room, basically the person killed the spider because it was small. Like, it was the crime of being small. And, I don't know, ever since I read that, my vision and thoughts about little bugs have changed. So now I'm okay with them. So I guess I can say that I'm a bit excited for spring. Because, in a way, it's kind of like fall, it's a transitional period. And we gotta love them, okay? It is good for change. <laughs> But basically today I decided to bake a cake because I'm kind of very bored. I'm done with everything I'm eating for breakfast. It's always the same things. And because I actually studied a bit this afternoon, I decided to reward myself with a little cooking time. They say that we should smash the bananas with our hands. So I'm just getting, I'm just getting right into it. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. I wanted to stop recording, but now I obviously can. So you're just going to watch me smash it. Smash this banana. I hate having my hands dirty. <laughs> it's literally top one worst feelings ever. I'm super sleepy guys. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm so comfortable right now. Every time I have like a hard day and I get in bed, I do like a little dance. <laughs> 
I have like little spasms of happiness. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. But it really wasn't a productive weekend. I don't know what happened. I mean, I do know what happened. And I already fixed the problem. Problem being TikTok. Like, oh my god, I am so addicted. It's becoming a problem. My attention span is like two seconds. And <laughs> like, if I can focus in the first one minute, of studying, I will just go on TikTok for an hour and that is not healthy and that is not helping my case at all. I literally could not study. I tried so hard, I really did. But I just ended up on TikTok or Instagram, whatever, but mostly on TikTok. So I made the decision to delete it, at least for like this week, because I feel that like my brain is like slowly and dying, honestly. I know that this was the source of basically all my problems, but I just feel like I'm going to miss something if I don't go on TikTok and that is a really shitty feeling so I've just been postponing deleting it but the time has come okay I have officially deleted TikTok <laughs> whatever I'm just going to go to sleep because I have to wake up early tomorrow because I have to study again and also have a Japanese class at 4 p.m but I have a lot of homework to do whatever it's going to be a busy day <laughs> see you tomorrow que tenemos dentro del dormitorio, el escritorio, la silla de escritorio, um, la estantería, las cortinas, el cuadro, yo, tenemos yo también. I don't know if I'm ready, but I honestly could not give more fucks. I think I'm just going to cheat. Don't tell anyone. so i haven't really talked to you today i think but i just wanted to give like a little rundown so to start off uh the spanish test was oof, it was not good i was so focused on the irregular verbs because they were a lot and they're always so different that i completely forgot about the regular verbs that are always the same and very easy but i didn't study them so I did not know anything and then didn't know how to write a lot of things. I don't know. It was a shit show. I just have to study more and also go to classes because I went to like five Spanish classes. So it's kind of my fault, honestly. <laughs> but I would be so happy if I could say that I do not have to worry about Spanish anymore. But that is so not the case. Because my teacher, my fucking teacher forced me to sign up for a language exchange. Basically, we had to deliver a printed essay on like 
a day and I skipped that class because it was all the confusion with my cats I was really tired and I think I slept in I don't remember whatever but I did send it through email so that she could know that I did not skip the essay I just didn't win the class and then she said that she wouldn't allow me to send her email and that I had to go to class and blah 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 so basically she said that she would only look through my essay if I accepted to participate in this language exchange and oh my god i basically have to talk to joaquin whoever that is in spanish for a whole hour and it's going to be really bad because although i do understand most of spanish i feel like my brain doesn't work in spanish yet and my accent is not the greatest <laughs> <sighs> whatever i <laughs> I'm really tired. I mean, I'm, I'm actually not really tired and I slept two hours today. So I don't know why I'm not like falling asleep yet, but I do have to take a shower first and then I think I'm going to sleep. But I think I'm gonna go now. Pretend you didn't see the sock. <laughs> I was cleaning my room. Does this also happen to you? Because this always happens to me. I only have one sock. I don't know where the other one went. So I'm just going to keep the sock here for the rest of the week, I guess. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to get an air cut in the next one. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Love you.